hello, my peeps. I'm sorry, I'm late. <laughs> I'm trying to think what the best way to summarize. <laughs> Computer won't turn on. Change of plans. My sister came to drop off laundry before she went to Costco. Got the dog so wound up, he's still not unwound. Um, just by walking in the door, she didn't do anything. Uh, phone calls, text messages. Did I mention the computer didn't want to start? Like, didn't want to turn on? Um, I, I don't even know if that's all of it. It's just the more I plan, the less I actually get anywhere. So I'm starting to think, I'm just going to wing it. I'm just, I'm not going to plan anything ahead of time. I'm just going to, all of a sudden, I'm just going to show up doing things. <laughs> because maybe I would have more success that way. Um, Sorry, I forgot. I forgot to mute my computer and it's taking very long. I'm sorry, I'm, I want to stop talking. You see how long it takes to mute my computer? That 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 amount of dead space was how long it takes for the little thing to pop up. And for it to, to, I don't know, show up, register, whatever, and do its thing. And then, yeah, oh my goodness. So anyhow, we're going to put all that aside. I'm just going to have fun playing with the card. I'm kind of excited about my card tonight. Um, I would have been more excited about all my cards tonight if I had a chance to finish them. But because this is the first time we've done a mystery card, uh, my camera has also all of a sudden gone kind of fuzzy. And I'm not even gonna bother with it because I can't do anything about it. Um, anyways, hello Tamara and hello Dana. Thank you for sticking in there and waiting for me. Um, yeah, technology. And I'm, I'm half in the screen. I don't. But if I go, but if I go farther this way, hello. Um, I'm getting farther away from a card. Oh, the dog was pulling on the cables and he was very excitedly jumping at the window because my sister had the nerve to leave the house. So I, I have a feeling something got moved. Okay. Moving on. So these were three of my other cards I was going to do. <laughs> they were going to all be ready and I was going to wow you with them all. Uh, but that will be another day apparently because as you can tell, they're not even done. Part of it was because I couldn't find the one set of paper that I was looking for because my desk, my desk people is Christmas central. <laughs> um, I've been having so much fun and making Christmas stuff. Uh, it started out making Christmas stuff um, for the extravaganza which you need to know about. Why is there so much shadow there? What is doing that? Let's move some stuff around. I just push things out of the way. Apparently, I don't have a big enough screen to show you all of this. Oh, well, that's fine. Um, I've been making stuff for the extravaganza because we need to get everything figured out and planned because we're ordering on the 1st of July. So we have no worries about back order, not back orders, uh, not available uh, or out of stock or something sells out and then takes two months to come back. We don't have to worry about that stuff. We are geared up for such a fun day. So I was making my poster and I was putting like a little only this many spots left, but they're going fast. We are down to, I want to say seven spots left. Might be six. <laughs> Thank you, Tamara. <laughs> um, like Tamara, like Tamara, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm having one of those days, man. Jeez. So here's what I'm going to tell you. This is a fun day. If you order one of those last few seats before, um, well, basically tomorrow, I guess tomorrow's the 30th of June, it's $90. If you order after that, it's $100 because then we'll have to be ordering like one-offs um, and there's extra shipping involved. We've made a couple of changes to this original list because as we make the projects, we find that certain things work better. So you will get some of the, you're still getting the same stamp set. The stamp set is awesome. Um, instead of the iridescent trim, you will get some of it. Um, here I'll, here, I'll show you just enough. Well, here, because this box is not actually the one that we're going to make. I will show you. It makes an adorable scarf. You'll be making one similar to this, but not with this paper. So um, it makes an adorable scarf, but it has limitations because it is a bit bulky. But it is, I love it. It's the coolest um, trim. It's good for tags and stuff like that. It's, it's like tree garland, only it's kind of soft, but kind of not. Oh, I just love the stuff. Anyways, but works for certain things. So instead of that, you will get enough of that to make some projects, but you'll get the, <clears throat> excuse me, the red and green. <laughs> Luckily I didn't put anything away. 
everything's right here on my desk. You will get the red and green cotton ribbon. This stuff is delicious. And because I have a partially tied one, look at how nice a bow it makes. Oh, it's just like, it's fantastic. So that has a lot more usability, I guess. So as we're, as we're settling in on things, we, need to, we needed to make that switch. Um, instead of the Jingle Bell trinkets, which are very fun, here, here's a sneak peek of the cards you can make in August that is not 113 sleeves. <laughs> I love that you count, Dana. Uh, so this is one of the cards we'll be making at my card class in August. See, there's that fun, fun trim again. So here's the little Jingle Bells that I'm talking about. And they're cool, but again, they have a couple limitations and they weren't working as well on the project as certain other things. We wanted other things. We want this to be like the best day you've ever had crafting. So um, I'm not gonna compare to like, you know, giving birth to a child or anything like that, but it's gonna be a fun crafting day. So, so we switched those out for the iridescent. Oh, see again, everything is just right on my desk. The very shiny iridescent jewels, which go to very many things, but you will still get a handful of little bells to put on certain projects. Um, and then the rest, you're getting half a box of the treat bags and bags, cardstock, uh, surprises, door prizes, games, snacks, and more than anything, social interaction and a fun day of crafting with friends. So what's not to love? <laughs> but again, okay, and I think, yeah, Tamara, you might be right. Way more fun than birthing a human. Well, the, the birthing a human part may not be the most fun part, but you get a baby out of it. Now, on a day like today, maybe I'm not so excited about said baby who's now 14, but, you know, in general, I do like the kid. Um, so, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm all about the Christmas right now. So, um, somewhere buried under all that Christmas is the paper I was looking for, but you just, just oh. anyway, and this is in the Christmas DSP, and I'm actually going to make something with one of the Christmas stamp sets. And then, I, and then when we're done, I'm going to see if, if the answer to the question is yes or no to does this card have to be a Christmas card? So wait till the end. Okay, I can't do this. I can't make it all fit in one thing. Okay, so here's what we're doing. I'll, I'll quit rambling and move on with, <laughs> yeah, exactly, says the mother of two teenage girls. Um, so here, here's the thing. So here's my plan for mystery cards. I'm lucky enough for the last two and a half years on Mondays, and I don't always make the mystery cards, but I do love mystery card Monday. But when it first started, oh my goodness, I was making them every time and I, and I get it. Lately, I've just been a little busy. So I seem to be multitasking and doing other things during it. But so my lovely friend Tamara does mystery card. And I know there's several other demonstrators and they all do them in different ways. So I thought I'm going to find a way that works for me. So what happens is you get posted the recipe. So it said this was the recipe with my lovely little uh, reusable whiteboard glass. Make it the whiteboard. And it told you what to get ready. Now, here's the thing, and the reason I had shown you these other samples was it just says, pick a standard card base, make a portrait or make it um, landscape, do whatever you want. A shape that's about two inches, circle, square, funky punch that I like, um, emboss a layer. Here's the thing, if you don't want to emboss this layer, pick a layer of DSP or, or just stamp on something. Uh, you'll notice some of those cards, like when I had my other, uh, those other cards made, you'll notice I have various different choices for subbing out these things. This says a three by three piece of DSP. One of those cards is not going to have DSP on it. It's going to be a piece of cardstock here. Um, a scrap for the sentiment. Unless you want to put it on a circle, then put it on a circle. So the whole idea though is just to get you getting a bunch of things and you have no idea what you're making. So you pick a set and then depending how you want to do it, either we all make it like I show you step by step, like I could say, okay, so put this down and then put this down and then um, I guess I can't pick this up. Ah, come on, you little. There we go. Then uh, figure out which way to do this. You could leave it like this, or if you want to flag end it, and then I'm going to put this. Or I could just do it without you seeing what I'm doing, and then you make yours, and you just guess what I'm doing, and guess if what you're. And because the thing is, there's no right or wrong. Do whatever you want. Do whatever. I think this is starting to be a little too white for what I was doing, but that's okay. We'll see how it works out. So. This, this might be, but we'll see. So as it turns out, this is what I told you the recipe was. And before I even started, when I was like deciding what it was going to be, um, I decided I was changing something. So there we go. <laughs> so I'm not going to actually use this emboss layer for this particular card as soon as I find out what I did with it. There we go. I'm going to use a cardstock layer. So 
the, the options are, and I think for tonight, I'm going to put it together this way, but I want you to answer later. Oh, hello, Coral. Um, if you would rather do it where, and I realize here's the drawback to that, where the camera's on me and um, I, I tell you what I'm doing, but I don't show you what I'm doing. And you try to put yours together and then in the end you show our cards and see how it looks. So I'll show my card, you will post yours in the comments up so you show your card. Or I could do, and, and Tamara's did morph as it went, so we could try and change and we'll just keep doing whatever works for people. But I could show you what I was planning and like, or doing it as we go, show you a bunch of alternates and then you guys can make your own. And then it's a matter of how much time do you want? I do know some demonstrators who post, let me think, what do they do? I think you post it on a Sunday and then she shows her card, she posts her card. So she posts a recipe on a Sunday and then she posts her card on a Monday. Um, and then other people just post on there. Um, oh, sorry, Dana. What would be fun? <laughs> With the de delay, I've already forgotten. This is, this is the thing about me and speaking. I'll speak in front of anybody. I got no fear, I'll talk, whatever. Do I remember a single thing I said? Not usually. Um, so I have no idea what you're referring to that would be the fun part. Um, the not seeing what I'm doing. See, so here's the thing, and you could do it either way. So when Tamara first started, and, and I'm, I am like giving kudos to Tamara, not picking on Tamara. When Tamara first started, she we didn't see her hands. And, and that's how I liked it. And chatted with the cards together, told her what you're doing, and then in the end, hey, what did it look like? But the majority of the group preferred to be able to see her hands. So even when she does it, and I'm playing along, and she's showing her hands, I'm not looking at the screen. I, I'm listening and I'm looking at what I'm doing, but I'm just not looking up at the screen, which is why I do tend to miss comments and I wait for my name to be called before I look up and then I'll look at the comments. Um, yeah, see, I think that's fun, right? So we might try that. The next time we do it, we might try that. So if I give you the recipe on Tuesday, then you have overnight to get ready. And then on Wednesday, I'll come in and do, and this is not, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to do a Mr. Card once a month. Uh, I'm just trying to like, you know, add some variety into what we do. Um, so yeah, I would, I would come in and tell you on a Tuesday, get this ready. And then on Wednesday, you would come in and, and I will tell you the drawback to this, ooh, me being on screen the whole time, that doesn't appeal to me either any more than it does anybody, but, um, but I would nonetheless, we would do this and I would just say, okay, I'm putting the base down. So imagine that you're not actually seeing what I'm doing. So I would say, okay, I'm putting the base down. Now, instead of the background, I am going to just stamp directly onto the card base. Uh, I didn't actually plan this card out very much other than I had like a quick vision in my head. So let's see how it all works. Um, and then I'm, yeah, see, I just wanted this peeking out the back. That was the thing. It may or may not work. I may just cover it up in the end. Yep, I think I'm just going to end up covering it up. Okay, so let's let's just forget I snapped that because it's not going to work. But I didn't have time to, I didn't have time to try it. I will make a different card with that on it. Are you, are you, have you figured out what I'm using yet? <laughs> okay, so pretend you're not looking at my, at my hands and I'm gonna say, okay, so I'm taking my longest piece of DSP and I'm flagging the ends. <laughs> That's all I'm telling you, right? I'm flagging the ends. I'm gonna close that before I stick them there. Okay, so now that I screwed that up, I will put this on. <laughs> Hello, Donna. I saw your lovely picture. I was I was on the go today doing very many things. And a lot of times I see I see things on Facebook and I want to comment. But if I don't instantly comment because if I'm in the middle of something, um, then I'm hooped. Because can I ever find the post again? Nope, not usually. Okay. So there we go. New flat. So we're going to fasten down our our embossed layer. Of course, I use the ever popular goes with anything wood grain. Um, I, I have flagged my, here's the other thing. I like dimensionals and I'm, I put dimensionals on all sorts of things. You do not have to put dimensionals on all sorts of things. Um, but just so you know, the mental alert. I like a dimensional. Okay, so I'm gonna put down my, my flag then first. This way, that seems about right. <laughs> uh, I'm doing it just off center, doing it vertical. This is going to go here. 
I'm going to flag my piece of cardstock. I haven't secured the other layers, but right now I'm in the planning phase because as I said, I did not plan ahead. So we're winging it. But I am I'm flagging so I can see if this is going to work how I want. Yes, it will. OK. So then I am securing my DSP down, my square piece. I don't know why I feel when I have, <laughs> and I'm pretty tired to say, so I have nothing intelligent to say in between. Um, I tend to like saying it, how does it make sound effects? So I have apologies for the stats. <laughs> okay, so we are putting this down oh, slightly off center. And then I am going to pop up I like this one, but it can't find them. I'm going to pop up my little cardstock flag bend with a couple of dimensionals. And I'm going to put that just inside the left end of my oh, cardstock square that I just put down. Now, before I do my little circle, which mine's a punch, but we are going to stamp on our circle. Now, here's the other thing, and I can't remember if I wrote it in the email or not. When it says you can stamp on the circle or add a die cut or whatever, oh my goodness, the, the options. <laughs> so you could like stamp and die cut and put it instead of the circle. You could stamp on the circle. You could still put a circle, but put like totally different die cut images on top of it. Like I said, this is, this is only part of it. So on my, my Halloween cards that I'm making, because I bought this Halloween set that I absolutely love, and I'm going to make all sorts of things with it. Instead of this circle with a stamped image, this is part of it. Right? So there is no rule that says, just because I said, I showed you a picture of a circle and said a shape about two inches to stamp on, that doesn't mean you could just do whatever you want. Um, people, this is the stamp set we're using. And are they cute or what? This is the one I'm using, which I didn't notice when I first saw it in the catalog. Like I saw, we have the little girl with the braids. We got little dude. This guy's got a lantern. And this one I thought was waving. But when you look really close, he's like lifting up the rim of his hat so he can see you. And it's adorable. I was, and I was trying to do his little mushroom house, but that didn't work. And I will show you that I've taken a few pieces out of here. Um, in addition to cutting out all of the images that you can stamp, it also comes with all the pieces. So here's his hat. And as far as I can tell, I haven't tried it yet. Oops, a little too high. Um, this little piece fits into this little notch here. So you can make a hole in it so you can make like a tag. So yes, you will be seeing gnome tags. Um, here's his beard. I'm not sure why they gave us two noses. I think they gave us two noses. Uh, maybe I guess so you can cut one out of flesh colored and one out of red colored and decide if he's a happy gnome or not. But this fits basically this size. So that's how you can cut the gnome out of a different one. Here's his beard, which is embossed. His little uh, feet with his little bossed shoelaces. Um, and then you can make some grass, grass and some shrooms. So I think I'm going to have lots of fun playing with the gnomes. When I first saw them, I was like, eh. And then I looked a little bit closer at the dies. And I was like, ooh. And then as soon as I looked at the dies, I was like, well, I'm going to get the whole set because you never know. And then I started looking even more. And oh my goodness, people. Look how, look how cute this guy is. So that's the one we're using. Little dude is putting his hat out of his face. Um, I'm going to stamp him right in the middle of my little shape, or close to the middle, since I didn't quite get it in the middle. You know, close enough. And then I'm going to quickly color him to match my DSP. So here's the thing. Does anybody know? Feel free to answer in the comments, especially if you are an authority, because I would love to know. Um, in general, what color hair do you know? <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> I'm losing it. Um, I did actually put some thought into it. I was like, okay, so I got to get my little, I'm going to color with blends, love me some blends. Um, and I would not normally do this, but again, I did not have time. Um, but I really, I was, as I was doing this, I was thinking, okay, what, uh, what color hair should I give this guy? And then I was trying to think, and I'm like, well, what kind of, as if I've ever seen a gnome. Oh, gray hair. Oh. Dana, I think you're right. Now that you now that you say that, I'm like, well, that seems like a good choice. 
because I was thinking, like, would gnomes have all the different colors of hair, just like people? Like, would you have, you know, blonde hair, red hair, brown hair, black hair? I'll put in the gray hair category. Category. The uh, the blondish look to my hair is is uh, assisted with uh, by Mr. L'Oreal, um, and and not. Although my hair did, my hair was quite dark. My actually, fun facts, because hey, Tracy's gonna ramble for a bit, so why not? Um, I have a picture of me just before I started school, when I was the flower girl at a cousin's wedding. And my hair is white blonde, which explains when I remember um, coming across some white blonde hair in a baby book and asking my mom why it was there. And she said, well, it's yours. And I'm like, um, okay, Tamara, I'm going to put, I'm, I'll give him uh, <laughs> some green hair. <laughs> Sorry. In general, I, I think I could, but I only have three colors and I'd be a thief or blue. Um, anyways, yes, apparently I had like white, white blonde hair until just before I started school. Then I had kind of light brown, brownish hair. And then uh, as I got older, oh, hello, Nancy. Look, Nancy. Ooh, oh, I've already started in on the Halloween stuff. Um, as I got older, my hair got darker. And so then it was very dark brown. And then it started to turn white. <laughs> Back to the beginning. Um, I think, you know what, now that, now that um, Dana has said gray, I'm thinking gray is the color to go with. And I don't know if, I don't know, I always picture gnomes as being very colorful, but this paper is kind of pastel-y, and I do love this, it's off the screen, I do love this uh, kind of like plaid pastel-y looking thing. So I am going with it. I forgot what I was doing. There we go. I just realized I was the, my favorite part of the hat is the fact that you like flipped up the rim and I forgot the colors. <laughs> I will go back. I'm also assuming he's wearing mittens because he's got no distinct fingers. I'm trying to figure out where his... Uh, <laughs> What's beard? What's shoe? What's jacket? Dress? I don't know. Top half of his clothing. So we're just winging it. Okay, so normally I would have probably have pre-done this so it would go a little faster. I'm not gonna say always, because there's a distinct chance I wouldn't have done any of it, but I would think I would have tried. Uh, okay, so the after side of his brim is gonna be darker. Darker. Let's pretend like I know what I'm doing. So dark. <laughs> oh yes, I. Uh, I'm. A, I, here's another fun fact though, Tracy. I'm huh? glad you tuned in tonight. I'm just gonna tell you all sorts of things. Um, scary markers. Um, I. <laughs> well, actually, any anybody who's hung around me for any long time already knows this because I'm certainly not shy. But my opinion of it, I hate the heat. <laughs> Hate it. So the uh, the current weather is five degrees and it's <laughs> a little bit overcast, drizzly, that kind of thing. But as soon as summer starts going and it starts getting into warmer temperatures, I instantly start thinking of, of Christmas and winter. Because um, look at the gnome and the gnome DSP. I do not have the gnome DSP, Tara. That would be a good idea. I just don't have it. Um, I just bought the staff cut. Because yes, the more the sooner I can start thinking about snow and cooler temperatures. You know, if I just remembered this particular gray last time when I went to color my hippos, my gray granite uh, or my smoky gray blends um, did not work. They were fairly used, and the, and they made it through one, and then it, it just that was it. So apparently, we're going with gray granite. Uh, here's another fun fact. I generally try to have stuff ready because every time I move off my chair, which has wheels on it, uh, I am afraid the chair is going to slide out from under me and I am going to go arse over tea kettle <laughs> live on Facebook. So I try not to move. So the fact that I've gotten up a few times already, pretty big for me. So yes, generally I would not do that. And sorry to spoil your entertainment, but so far, I've managed to get up from my chair without incident. Yeah. Okay, so if, if you are just, if you were, if you weren't seeing my hands, um, right now you would be, I, I, I would be describing this as I'm coloring. <laughs> okay, so there are some drawbacks. It, it, funny thing, um, you know, probably nine out of 10 times, I would actually be using die cuts and not actually coloring. I just like this guy so much. 
Uh, and then sometimes we're going to go totally off script because uh, I can't make his I can't make his gloves the same color as everything else because if I do, you won't be able to see them. So I just picked I just picked the color that I thought went with the other two. But it's nowhere to be seen anywhere. But it's only in a small amount, so I figured I'd get away with it. And then there is always. Do these go together? No, they do not. They just look like they did. Uh, it's not the right marker. Um, and there's always a bit of some kind of a neutral. So in this case, my neutral is just going to be his little crumb cake on the bottom of his soles of his feet. So when you only have one marker, a little tip for you. Normally you can do like a little dark edging and then go in with the light. But if you only have one marker, and now that you've said you didn't fall, you're even more worried about getting up off your chair because now you know you've just jinxed yourself. Um, just use the same marker and go over the certain areas, and uh, we'll get a darker image, and we'll be almost like you had two markers. Oh, see, and you know what? I brought the other one over so I could do his face. So we'll give him a nice. He's uh, he's in control of. Of his partying, so he doesn't have a big red nose. He's just got a regular old nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. So, oh my goodness, look how cute he is. Look at him. He's adorable. Okay, so back to our instructions <laughs> with a slight detour for coloring. Uh, always, coloring is always a good thing. It's never the wrong time to color. So, I'm going to find my dimensional again. I'm also going to pop him up, but because I popped up a little smudge on there, because I also popped up this banner, I'm only going to pop up half of him. So I'm going to pop up this side, where he will be crooked. And after all that, to make him straight, I don't want to make him crooked now. And then we'll just put a little down there. Uh, this is why you don't want to color your blends directly onto. Um, oh, there you go. Um, onto like a card base or whatever. You always want to put it on something because they do tend to bleed through. And even with these little light colors, they do tend to pop on through. So this guy is going to go. Oh, I'm just going to put him in the middle. I'm uh, I'm currently seem to be obsessed with offsetting everything. <laughs> Um, I don't know why. I just keep offsetting everything. So every now and again, I feel like, you know, maybe I should just make something straight. Um, <clears throat> I have currently lost my little, little piece. I like making Christmas cards that say warm wishes. There we go. Um, because most people, unlike myself, do not relish in the cold at Christmas time. I do. I love it. I would, I would any day of the week, I would pick minus 30 over plus 30. Any day of the week. I know, I've lost you all now. You're all like, oh my God, she's gone off the deep end. And as far as I know, this is like as long back as I can remember, I have not been a fan of the heat. I just stick my head in the way. Yes, I did. Warm wishes. Okay, my little thing is a little, uh, a little bigger than I needed it to be. So we'll just make a little trimming job here. Now again, I saw Mary pop in. Every time seriously, every time I every time I pull my little my little um guillotine out, I think of her because of how badly she wants one and how she comments on it. These things were super handy. And yes, the first thing I did was take the safety guard off. So now I can get really close to what I want to make and make tiny little pieces. Um, I've also learned some, some things as I was going that if you go to here, it's a half an inch and, and the three quarter, because this is the three quarter inch one. But if you're doing a half an inch and you want to put like a background color behind it, you just go just up this little extra piece here. Um, I think. I'm not mistaken. This little notch up here is the five eighths. You can sort of see it this way. So when you go there, me too. You can put on more clothes unless you're Bill, but you can't go naked. 
Bill Murray th- seems to be a, a theme this week, Donna. And that's just it, though. It is so much easier just to add layers than it is to when it's plus 30. To, I mean, there's only so much you can do. And I mean, air conditioning has its limitations. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, so there's my little warm wishes, which guess what I'm going to do? That's right. <laughs> I'm going to put it on dimensional. It's not like I didn't warn you. I'm going to keep the dimensional industry in business. With my last day for two months off. Oh, yes. Uh, you know, Nancy, kudos to you and anyone who works in a school, whether you are teacher, principal, God bless janitors at a junior high school, um, anything like just, oh, I like that up there. Um, you guys have earned your summers off. People always, people always make you know, snide comments about any career that is not theirs, basically. And um, oh my God, I can't imagine at the best of times working in a school, how much work it must be. But with the last couple of years we've had, oh, I hope that you, uh, I feel like saying thank you for your service, not to minimize the military in any way, but thank you. And uh, yes, I hope you enjoy your two months off because oh, you have earned it. These are, the in color dots. Um, and this is sweet sorbet, which is not exactly the color because I'm pretty sure this is pocket gray. Um, but because they're ombre, I'm finding that they go with all sorts of things. So there we go. So my I've added my sentiment and then I've added some embellishments. Ooh, because Nancy's watching three, or sorry, not Nancy, Donna's watching. The embellishment patrol is on, so I have to make sure. Uh, and three is my favorite number, so I'd put it in three anyways. Doo, doo, doo. Is that not cute? I do that to myself. Um, so that's how we would have ended up with our. Okay, so here's my question. If I had to write warm wishes, warm wishes might have been the thing that decides it. But does this have to be a Christmas card? Or could you just send somebody a no many day? Because this is not snowflakes. This is just kind of this blue modely background looking thing. And it's a gnome. That's what I'm saying. You could pe- wish people warm wishes anytime. I think because it all came out of the Christmas stuff, I'm thinking it's Christmas, but I'm curious. If it, if it, uh, here, just a minute, but I just, I just saw it when I was digging for something else. Seriously, guys, my desk is just its own special place. Who knows what you might find? But I did just pass a thing, a tiny little tag that said happy birthday on it. I'm going to go up top and show you, but of course I just saw it, but now I actually want it. I'm not going to find it. But yes, if this said happy birthday instead of warm wishes, does not keep Christmas. I would use different paper. Yes, because and this is because this is more pastel. I figured I might be able to get away with it. I don't know. I do like this card. And by the way, um, <laughs> this layout comes from the lovely Tamara Bertram. It was one of her original, like one way back in the day. It was one of her mystery card Mondays. And when I was looking through some of my old cards that I had made, I remember seeing this one and thinking. Oh, that's right. I remember loving this layout. And it is, like I said, it is uh, versatile. <laughs> and when I'm finished and you see my other options, <laughs> I actually get around finishing them. But see, Nancy? <laughs> my, I know, see, it's Nancy, the Halloween fan. So I feel simpatico with you. Look at this. There's a ton of, a ton of bath dyes in this one package. You can cut out like eight baths in one pass. Uh, so this is eventually going to be a card that looks something like that. Um, a bear. As soon, this was the paper I was looking for, but I could not find where the happy thoughts was. I don't know if all of this will end up on him or on the card. See, die cuts. I said I didn't take the other. Gnomes are good luck. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, see, that's so cute that I could just I could just put like a little good luck sentiment on it. Oh, there we go. So, yes, one will be this. And then this was going to be a little more. Um, I was also going to change up the order because here's the thing with Mystery Card Monday. Um, you don't have to follow. <laughs> like if, even if I was telling you what I was doing, I said Mystery Card Monday, it's not a Monday, it's Wednesday. Um, it doesn't mean you have to copy it exactly, right? So this one I was going to like put a little slightly different thing going on here. And I think I was going to put a different um, tree background on it, you might stamp on here instead. But I think you could use this with whatever, whatever suite of things you're going for. I think you could find a couple pieces. This is 
this actually, this paper here is the background of the third paper. I didn't just flip this paper over because on the other side of this paper is acorns and flowers, which was not what I wanted. <laughs> so, but I could have accepted it. This, this one I'm not going to stamp on. I just hadn't decided yet um, if it was going to have a haunted house in it or a cat or both. Right, so this is this one is going to be more about like all these little die cuts. This one's more about the stamping colored image. Um, this one was going to be because I love this paper too much to cover. This one was likely just going to have a sentiment on it and a little bit of background stamping. And then we'll see if these actually turn out the way I envisioned them in my head. And then this one I was going to put the big piece down of DSP instead of the the other one. Right, so lots of options to come up with said card. So to recap, here's my questions I need to answer. <laughs> it's like a test. I've shown you the, I've shown you the lecture, now the test time. Um, if, if we were to do this, okay, so I said once a month. So may, maybe it'll be the last, maybe it'll be the last Wednesday of each month, because then I can plan for it. Um, so the Tuesday before I will post the recipe and then on the Wednesday we'll do it, but I won't show you what I'm doing. I'll just tell you what I'm doing and we'll chat as we go. And then at the end, I will show you the card. And the next time I will be much more prepared and I'll actually have a bunch of different samples to show you. And I think maybe we'll try it that way. So yes or no to that idea. Um, I cannot get enough of these gnomes. And seriously, cannot wait. I'm gonna take all these pieces. Cannot wait to make one of these gnomes into a into a gift tag. Oh well, yeah, see, I'm pretty sure that's what that's going to do. It looks like it's going to cut out. So Stepping Up is just whoever designs these things, they're genius. Because if you don't want a hole in his hat, yes, yes, okay, good, there we go, we got a plan. So if you don't want a hole in his hat and you put it like this, when you run this hat through, nothing's going to happen where this hole is. But if you do want a little hole to make a tag into it, then you just drop that little piece in and now it'll make a hole as you go. It's genius. And then we're going to cut this dude out. And we're going to make him a nose. And then we're going to put his little pants. Seriously? I'm telling you. This, oh, here's your other reminder. Here's your PSA. If there is anything you want in the mini catalog, you have till tomorrow at, I don't know, 11.30, I think is the time, to get it. A lot of it's sold out now, so you might not be able to get everything you thought of. But um, So get what you want from there. Make sure you have a plan for all those things because there are some awesome things in that catalog. And then be ready on the 1st of July when you can order all the fun Christmas stuff <laughs> and start doing Christmas and Halloween and all those fun things. Okay, I'm done with my rambling now, I think. Um, I'm trying to think what else I was going to tell you. I told you about the extravaganza and the fact that we only have a handful of seats left. Uh, my next in-person class is the 10th of July. It is the Tea Boutique class, which I noticed if you were waiting for it, um, the, the bundle is back. The, the dies are back in stock. So the stamp set and, and dies that make up the bundle are back in stock. Um, and I do have, I think I could, I think I have time I could squeeze in if there's any last minute request to attend that class. I could squeeze in a couple more because I am going to be putting in an order tomorrow. Um, I have a request for some last minute stuff. And then I will also be putting in a very large order on Friday because extravaganza, babe, where's that? Um, so yeah, I could I could easily add in the tea boutique if there's any last minute takers on that class. Okay. Thank you for putting up with my rambly day and my chaos that ensued leading up to in the first few minutes of my life. Um, and um, Thanks for, for wanting to try new things because I'm very excited about doing this. I love when Tamara does her mystery cards and I always wanted to do my own. And so I'm thinking, yeah, once a month. And I just cannot get over how much I like this card. <laughs> um, a lot of times I, I get through the whole, oh, I like how that, because I see it in my head and then I don't always see it on the paper. And a lot of times I will like make stuff ahead of time. So I'm over the giddiness of it. But because I made this as I was going tonight, just hoping it would look like it did in my head. Um, I'm not quite over the giddiness. And even with him crooked, um, darn, I like this card. Okay. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> I hope you all have a fabulous evening. 
Um, am I live again? I'm going to be live on Friday. Um, I'm, I don't have to be live until noon. And the set that I've been working on, I'm equally as excited about it as I am about the gnomes. Um, it's a cool set. And you got to see the ins and outs of it. So I have to do that live so that I can answer questions. So I'll see you live on noon. And if not, if you were out enjoying Canada Day and the long weekend, then enjoy that. And I'll see you next weekend. Have a great weekend and um, be safe on the weekend. Long weekends. Be safe. Uh, I am glad you got me too, Nancy. Oh my goodness, I can't get over how much I love this little loan card. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. Bye.